Hello, everyone, and welcome to Mr. <laughs> this is Southeast Asia, and this is Borneo, and this here is Brunei. Let's check it out, shall we? The peoples of this island were farming and headhunting and trading things like edible swiftlet bird nests, dragon's blood raisin, camphor, beeswax, crane crests, hornbill ivory, and tortoise shells with India and China for some time before being Islamicized by Muslim merchants in the 10th century and then incorporated into the Javanese Hindu Majapahit Empire. Brunei was impoverished by foreign rule, but when the Majapahit Empire declined, the Chinese Ming Dynasty began seducing various vassal states like Brunei into a tributary relationship. From 1368 to 1888, Brunei was an empire coming to dominate Borneo and several Filipino islands. This was its flag and, well, yeah, it's not the most inspiring of emblems, but anyway, its heyday was under the fifth sultan, Bolkia. Brunei's power and influence slowly subsided over the next century or so, while European powers began arriving in the area, keen on cashing in on the spice trade, with Portugal conquering Malacca and Spain the Philippines. Spain, no fan of Islam after centuries of Muslim rule, declared war on Brunei in 1578, invading and taking over the capital, but were forced to leave due to devastating illnesses, making sure to burn down the great mosque before they left. The Brunei Civil War started after the Sultan's son got into a fight after losing a bet on a cockfight. Actual foul play led to over a decade of fighting. In 1838, an Englishman named James Brooke helped the Sultan of Brunei suppress a revolt, and as a reward was given the Sarawak region to rule, which he did, expanding it over time and being known as the White Raja. Brooke worked effectively to end piracy and the practice of headhunting among the native Dayak people. Brunei was very small by the time it became a British protectorate. In 1888, and the Sultan's power was now essentially ceremonial. The British discovered oil in Brunei in 1929, the commodity that would make Brunei's fortune. But before that, the bad times. Japan invaded in December 1941 and took over in under a week, and their occupation proved devastating for the people of Brunei, many of whom starved. In 1945, with American air and naval support, Brunei was liberated by the Australian 9th Division, who defeated the Japanese in four successive battles on the island. Brunei gained self governance in 1959 and independence in 1984, by which time the nation was bloated with oil wealth. Hassan al Bolkia, who became the Sultan of Brunei in 1967, is worth some $20 billion US. The people of Brunei love him for his charity, and he has been moving to make his country more and more compliant to Sharia law, where certain sins result in death by stoning or having your hand chopped off. In 2015, he made Ebenezer Scrooge envious when he banned public displays of Christmas, and over the years he has amassed the largest car collection in the world, some 7,000, including 450 Ferraris, 380 Bentleys, 21 Lamborghinis, 11 Aston Martins, 179 Jaguars, 200 BMWs, 500 Mercedes, and 600 Rolls Royces. Maybe he should give some of those autos to people in need for Christmas. Anyway, that's it for Brunei, and until next time, bye-bye. <laughs>